हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल फोर सी लर्निंग क्लासेस सेशन फोर्टीन कोल्ड आफ्टर दैट विल सी दार्स सो सीवियर अक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी सिंड्रोम नव एड इज इट हैज बिकम ए बर्निंग टॉपिक दट इज ह्यूमन करोना वायरस ह्यूमन करोना वायरस what causes uh, the sars sars stands for severe severe acute acute respiratory respiratory syndrome syndrome and the sars is caused by means of human uh, corona virus it was a uh, noticed uh, 2003 in goa and uh, apart from that it was also considered that it was first noticed in china entire world and in india it is in goa human corona virus what causes the sars actually this human corona virus is a mutant virus mutant virus means it is having the capacity of changing its uh, the genome now presently what we are facing is covid 19 virus it is with uh, the mut mutant uh, genetic material what it has it is a protein so it is said that one has to take more water and not to allow the throat and uh, nasal chamber dry such that the if you take a regular interval water the if a person is infected it goes to the stomach and this protein get digested by means of uh, the protease is present in the stomach and hcl which is uh, the kills uh, the microbes that is what so sars is severe acute respiratory syndrome which is caused by human corona virus affecting uh, the respiratory tract sneezing or continuous uh, running nose cough fever high fever within a 3 or 4 days it reaches maximum and body pains these are what are the symptoms of one face elisa for this sars uh, enzyme linked immunosorbent assay test is what is used see if the virus is there body immune response uh, responded produce antibodies so antibodies can be detected by elisa elisa direct or indirect immuno enzyme linked immunosorbent acid test and uh, it is said that even sars also the infected person must be isolated from the rest of the individual must be keep in a hospital quarantine they are made uh, to be at one place and not allowed to anywhere and at a regular interval one has to the wash their hands why it is mainly a contagious it is a contact so that is what uh, the sars all about so the respiratory disorders we have seen and one more is also diphtheria diphtheria caused by means of corony bacterium diphtheriae diphtheria diphtheria is caused by means of corony corony bacterium diphtheriae bacterium diphtheriae what causes the it is a bacterium diphtheria it is also respiratory problems so the disorders related to the respiratory tract we have seen as a copd and a non copd that includes the asthma emphysema bronchitis tb tuberculosis sars and also the pneumonia cold diphtheria now let's move on to occupational respiratory disorders occupational respiratory disorders in the sense as i already told you 
occupation in the sense the place of working that is people will work at different industries different industries that is maybe in uh, the quarries asbestos industries silicon industries and uh, the grinding stone breaking industries where they work coal mine industries they work they prone for the occupational respiratory disorders uh, that is discussed under this one is a uh, asbestosis asbestosis next silicosis silicosis next the sidirosis sidirosis next block lung disorder block lung disease i repeat the occupational respiratory disorders are asbestosis silicosis sidirosis block lung disease asbestosis in the sense uh, the individuals the laborers who are working in the asbestos industries prone for asbestos asbestos uh, particles and uh, the one that are working in uh, the different industries uh, will ex expose for silica particles and that causes the silicosis and the sidirosis uh, the inhalation of inhalation inhalation of iron particles inhalation of iron particles is what name it with the sidirosis basically in one of the acute alveolar alveolar recurrent hemorrhage is a what also one of the conditions we see where it is including the what is called a, the alveolar blood vessels are ruptured name it to be the hemorrhage that is if one receives the iron particles which is said to be the sidirosis inhalation of uh, iron particles in some of a uh, condition hyperferemia that is ferrous in the sense iron this iron entry into the blood vessels causes severe acute alveolar hemorrhage alveolar hemorrhage in the sense uh, the rupture of the blood vessels of the alveoli because of the iron particles that is the hyperferemia is a condition seen if not this sidirosis so inhalation of iron particles is sidirosis block lung disease the inhalation of coal particles inhalation of coal particles that is uh, the coal mine industries one uh, exposed for the coal particles that results in uh, block lung disease so in this connection what are the measurements one has to take the occupational respiratory disorders working is very very important so one has to take the care that is the workers must keep uh, the masks in the places where they are working first point second point they have to be given uh, the rest or else the what is called gap uh, for working they have to be given uh, an interval at a regular time so that uh, do not uh, continuously expose to these particles and at a regular interval one has to test this is how one can overcome the occupational respiratory disorders this includes a uh, asbestosis silicosis sidirosis and the block lung disease let's go for the other conditions that is besides that 
we do also came across the respiratory system disorders uh, which we came across as the terminology eupnea <clears throat> Eupnea, apnea, next, hypopnea, next, hyperpnea, dyspnea, next, the hypoxia hypoxia next hyper copnia hypocopnia hypocopnia next asphyxia asphyxia next pleurosis pleurosis next the cyanosis next the other terms are yawning and uh, hiccups let us discuss uh, hiccups the respiratory system disorders under this uh, we'll discuss certain terms eupnea normal breathing uh, normal breathing is said to be the eupnea eupnea in the sense normal breathing now we are at a eupnea condition normal breathing apnea no breathing i repeat so listen carefully apnea in the sense normal breathing as we have normally the inspiration and expiration which comes under the apnea normal breathing whereas apnea no breathing breathing is failed a refers to without u in the sense true a in the sense of without so eupnea and apnea next uh, hypopnea hypo in the sense decrease or low low rate of breathing low rate of breathing or low depth of breathing i repeat we discussed that pons or pons is with pneumotoxic center this pneumotoxic center is for uh, decreasing the duration of inspiration is it right and is also responsible for uh, increasing the rate of breathing and the depth of breathing so this hypopnea and hyperpnea are the conditions we see hypo refers to reduced or low hyper in the sense increased hypopnea is a low rate of breathing or low depth of breathing low rate of breathing low depth of breathing is what we refer as hypopnea hyperpnea what do you mean by hyper increased that is uh, increased rate of breathing so if you pay more attention you can find out if one you know another you can easily answer what i am saying is hypo means less decreased low so hypopnea means low rate of breathing 
these two refers to rate of breathing or uh, the rate of breathing or depth of the breathing so if uh, low rate of breathing or low rate of breathing uh, and uh, the depth of the breathing that can be said to be the hypopnea depth of the breathing or rate of breathing is low hyper increased increased or uh, more increased depth of the breathing or rate of the breathing what we refer as a hypopnea dyspnea difficulty in breathing difficulty in breathing hypoxia hypoxia in the sense uh, the deficiency or decreased what do you mean by oxia oxygen decreased o2 in a uh, tissues hypo hypo refers to less oxygen oxia decreased o2 in a uh, the tissues what we refer as hypoxia next hypercapnia hyper increased i repeat increased capnia carbon dioxide increased carbon dioxide increased co2 in the blood what we refer the hypercapnia i repeat hypercapnia in the sense increased co2 carbon dioxide in the blood hypo decreased 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 co2 in blood what refers to hypocapnia next asphyxia asphyxia in the sense of increased co2 in tissues asphyxia in tissues so co2 increase uh, in the body is also problem definitely if you observe here what we are finding is increased uh, the co2 the regulatory mechanism of the respiration what finds the co2 co2 have a significant role in the regulation of respiration so increased co2 in tissues is named to be the asphyxia pleurosis inflammation in a inflammation in a inflammation in a pleural membrane pleural membrane what do you mean by pleural membrane pleura the membrane lining the lungs is the pleura pleurosis inflammation in pleural membrane is what refers to the pleurosis cyanosis cyanosis in the sense of blue coloration of blue coloration of skin due to i repeat here already i have drawn larger i have written larger if not you can uh, <clears throat> listen my voice cyanosis in the sense blue coloration of skin due to deoxygenated more amount of the deoxygenated hemoglobin the same thing that is carbamino globin carbamino hemoglobin carbon dioxide carrying with the hemoglobin is more it is a toxicity condition which is cyanosis bluish coloration of the skin is result in uh, the children uh, due to the deoxygenated hemoglobin condition cyanosis next yawning <clears throat> that is particularly when you are about to sleep what condition you see prolonged opening of the mouth and uh, inhaling air is it right that is is what we say that is yawning yawning in the sense the prolonged uh, opening of the mouth and inspiring air 
is what name it to be the yawning this is a condition it says that there is a deficiency of oxygen you are working more which is not supplied uh, sufficiently to the tissues so it is a prolonged opening of uh, the mouth and inspiring air this is due to the decreased o2 so you are opening your mouth more for more taking air that includes more oxygen that's what the yawning and hiccups i repeat make a note yawning in the sense uh, prolonged opening of the mouth and inspiring air is yawning it is due to the decreased o2 level indicating that you have to go for the sleep hiccups the spasmodic contraction <gasps> is what we say what is that hiccups hiccups in the sense the spasmodic contraction of the diaphragm <laughs> so what is uh, you are finding a changing in our sound production that is the diaphragm which play a role in breathing so spasmodic in the sense sudden contraction of uh, the diaphragm and a sudden closure of epiglottis what produces sound is what name it to be the hiccups i repeat spasmodic contraction of the diaphragm causes spasmodic sudden closure of the epiglottis the larynx is with an opening called the glottis which is covered by epiglottis that suddenly close due to the spasmodic contraction of diaphragm why it is the stimulation from the gastrointestinal tract from the gut a stimulus reaches the brain and immediately it give necessary signal to the diaphragm so sudden diaphragm contract suddenly the contraction of the epiglottis the sudden closure of the glottis takes place and produce the sound that is the hiccups so these are the terms related to the respiratory problems eupnea apnea hypopnea hyperpnea dyspnea hypoxia hypercopnea hypocopnea asphyxia pleurosis cyanosis these are all what the disorders and these two are the conditions we say yawning and the hiccups respiratory pigment one more small uh, information and now we'll discuss that is uh, the respiratory pigments the respiratory pigments we see are respiratory pigments we see respiratory pigment metal that it is with color and examples and examples look at here right so respiratory pigments in different animals which includes the tabular form now we are discussing respiratory pigment metal basically every respiratory pigment have certain metal for suppose hemoglobin and uh, hemoerythrin are with the iron hemocyanin is with the copper chlorocrurin is with the iron and even we say the vanadium is with the, the vanadium is a metal so now we'll discuss regarding the same a respiratory pigment metal that it is with 
color and examples so hemoglobin 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 is a respiratory pigment it is with the metal iron it is with the metal iron recall your memory we discussed that hemoglobin is a tetramer that is with the four polypeptide chains and each polypeptide chain carries the iron and each iron molecule carries carries oxygen so this is how they are discussed under respiratory pigment so hemoglobin iron color red colored and the example for this is there are many example few will write here analytes in the case of the earthworm 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 is with the respiratory pigment hemoglobin human beings examples we see next <clears throat> next the hemoerythrin 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 is also red colored it is also red, red colored where also you see the iron as an element red colored red colored is what uh, the color of this and it is seen in uh, the sudden uh, annelids as well as sudden uh, arthropods you can observe hemoerythrin red colored and uh, the third one we see is a uh, hemocyanin 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 is uh, what we see hemocyanin is one of the respiratory pigment it is with the, the copper hemocyanin is a copper copper containing metal it is a blue color crustaceans crustaceans and the crustaceans in the sense arthropods arthropods now you may raise a doubt sir cockroach is an arthropod but uh, is that all arthropods uh, respire by trachea no there are uh, gill breathing or they are nothing but a crustacean where they require the respiratory pigments so crustaceans and also the snails are example uh, for uh, what is called uh, the exchange of gases is done by means of hemocyanin it is with the metal copper it is with the color blue and crustaceans and snails next chlorocrurin 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 is a respiratory pigment it is also with the, the iron as a metal and uh, it is uh, the chlorocrurin is green colored it is green color seen in certain uh, annelids certain uh, annelids example is uh, sebella sebella and the serpula if not uh, clear visible i read out annelids sebella serpula are the examples of annelids in which the chlorocrurin chlorocrurin is of one uh, respiratory pigment uh, is with the iron and is with the uh, green colored and it is seen in annelids called sebella and serpula next apart from that one more we see is uh, the vanadium 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 is with the uh, vanadium uh, substance itself it is nothing but the metal vanadium which is taken in fact what we see is what you take will be part of your body is it right if you take more uh, the apples carrot and greeny leaf vegetables which contain iron your hemoglobin percentage will be more the same way vanadium is uh, one of respiratory pigment 
which is uh, what seen in the uh, tunicates in the uh, tunicates tunicates are the members tunicates in the sense eurocardates tunicates in the sense eurocardates eurocardates are exclusively marine they take the food from the marine uh, environment as they take uh, the food from the marine environment uh, so the vanadium is a uh, what uh, the metal enter into its body and it become uh, an integral part of its body and that is nothing but the respiratory pigment so i repeat the respiratory pigments we see are hemoglobin hemoerythrin hemocyanin chlorocrorin vanadium here the metals that we see in all these are respiratory pigments iron hemoglobin with iron hemoerythrin iron hemocyanin copper and he chlorocrorin iron vanadium vanadium color red hemoglobin red naturally wherever uh, the it is red colored iron red red hemocyanin blue color and uh, the chlorocrorin is green color there is no particular color for vanadium and examples for this what is called uh, the respiratory pigment hemoglobin uh, iron metal red colored it is seen in the case of the earthworm one example earthworm and another is the human being it doesn't mean that the other members are also with uh, the examples of hemoglobin which play a vital role in a respiration next uh, hemoerythrin iron uh, the red colored it is seen in certain polyketes also polyketes annelids next hemocyanin it is a copper metal blue color example crustaceans and snail snail is a molluscan chlorocrorin iron green colored annelids uh, annelids called sebel and sepula are comes under uh, the example which have the chlorocrorin a green colored uh, respiratory pigment vanadium vanadium and tunicates eurocardates are examples so this is the detailed story of uh, the description for respiratory pigments so respiratory disorders we have seen earlier in that the terminology the points these are all and the terms earlier we have seen or extra information so you better make a note write down so we have seen eupnea eupnea normal breathing true breathing apnea no breathing dyspnea difficulty in breathing hypoxia deficiency of oxygen in uh, tissues next uh, asphyxia increased co2 in tissues fluorosis fluorosis in the sense the inflammation in the pleural membrane cyanosis it is a conversion of the skin color turns into blue it is due to the toxicity nothing but the carbamino hemoglobin carbon dioxide more combined with the hemoglobin yawning prolonged opening of the mouth and inspiring air it is due to the decreased oxygen in our body and hiccups the spasmodic contraction of the diaphragm causes the small spasmodic closure of spasmodic closure of the glottis and producing a sound is a hiccups thank you